Swept spectrum analyzers display the input signals as traces. For ease of use, with Regal DSA-815 provides multiple trace types and also supports trace map operations. This video will introduce the available trace functions. Let's start by using a DG4000 arbitrary waveform generator to output an FM signal with 2 MHz 0 dBm carrier, 500 MHz modulating frequency, and 100 kHz frequency offset. Now let's connect the signal to the analyzer. Set the analyzer parameters for 2 MHz center frequency, 1 MHz span, and 10 kHz resolution bandwidth. Adjust the reference level about 5 dBm to display the signal in a more suitable location. In the trace menu, we can see three basic types. Trace 1 is the default, which is marked by a yellow line. Note that each trace can be set to a different trace type. The default type is clear right. There's also max hold, min hold, video average, power average, freeze, and finally close trace. For trace 1, set the trace type to clear right. Since an FM signal changes all the time, we can see trace 1 sweep periodically. Also, the trace 1 icon at the left of the screen is illuminated and the marked trace type is CW. For trace 2, set the trace type to max hold. It is shown as a pink line and maintains the maximum value for each point of the trace and only updates the trace point if a new maximum is generated during the successive sweep. Now the trace 2 icon is illuminated and the marked trace type is max H. For trace 3, set the trace type as min hold. It is shown as a blue line and maintains the minimum value for each point of the trace and will only update the trace point if a new minimum is generated in a successive sweep. Now trace 3 icon is illuminated and the marked trace type is min H. To reduce the influence of noise and other random signals, we can choose power average or video average. These two trace types will average multi-sweep points and then display the averaged value at that point. The average time can be defined by the user. The more the average times, the smoother the trace will be. In trace type menu, we can also choose freeze to freeze the current trace or choose close to close the current trace. In addition to the standard trace functions, the DSA815 can also display traces using the math function, which allow users to perform mathematical operations on trace points. The math functions include a minus b, a plus constant, and a minus constant, where constant can be defined by the user. For example, we can set trace a as trace 2, constant as 10 dB, and math type as a minus constant. Then open the math operation. As can be seen, the math trace is displayed with a green line, and the math trace icon is lit with the math type displayed. Both trace A and B can be set as trace 1, 2, or 3. In summary, here are some key points about the trace function. Set the suitable frequency and amplitude parameters to get the signal trace. Open multi-trace to observe trends of signals. Choose suitable trace types depending on the different measurement demands. Thank you.